there is not a single unequivocal statement, not a single unambiguous statement. In the complete Bible, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am God, or where he says, worship me. He didn't say. Now you are saying that because Jesus said I'm Alpha and Omega, therefore he's Almighty God. What do you mean Alpha and Omega? I'm the first and the last in what? Do you mean call me a number one? Baby, you can call me a superman. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. Hope you guys are doing alright. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, thank you guys for getting us to 10,000 subscribers. We couldn't thank you guys any more than words that I'm spitting out right now. We're very, very grateful and we're very, uh, I don't know what I can say. I really don't know. We just thank you very much. Thank you very much for supporting us. Thank you for giving us this platform to express ourselves. Thank you for listening to us. Thank you for watching us. Thank you for everything. Thank you for subscribing. You guys are the best. And I wish you the best in life. And just may God just bless you abundantly like i said my name is fanny lungu and today i'm going to be reacting to american girl vs dr zaki naik 2018 without wasting much time let's get into the video hi my name is sarah i am a independent student i graduated in america i'm here studying independently um as you have stated, Jesus never does claim divinity in the Bible. In Revelation chapter 1, I can't read the whole chapter because it would take a very long time, but Jesus is speaking and he says, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead and behold, I am alive forever and ever. I hold the keys of death and Hades. He also says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. These are also names of God written in the Old and New Testament. And I don't see how that does not show that Jesus is not genetically the Son of God, but spiritually the Son of God. This is the last question. She quoted Revelation chapter number one. She didn't give the verses. She's talking about the first 20 verses. And I'm Alpha and Omega is verse number 11. Revelation chapter number one, verse number 11. Where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says that I'm Alpha and Omega. So she says, just because Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says I'm Alpha and Omega, I'm first and the last, according to you, he is claiming divinity. Mark me. I had said there is not a single unequivocal statement. Not a single unambiguous statement. In the complete Bible, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am God, or where he says, worship me. He didn't say. Now you are saying that because Jesus said I'm Alpha and Omega, therefore he's Almighty God. What do you mean Alpha and Omega? I'm the first and the last in what? Do you mean Jesus Christ was first in this world? No. He was born in a stable. Before him was his mother. There were many prophets that came before him. So surely he's not the first. Neither is he the last. In the Bible it says, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he'll be coming. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14. I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the Spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that the year shall he speak. He shall glorify me. He shall show you things to come. Talking about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So what does this word Alpha and Omega mean? It does not mean that he's first and the last, actually, literally. Because there were many people who came before him and there were many people who came after him. What does it mean that in the law of God, whatever the messenger says, the law of God is first and last. At the time of Moses, Moses was Alpha and Omega as far as the law of God was concerned. Whatever he taught had to be followed. At the time of Jesus, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. His teachings were Alpha and Omega. It had to be followed. At the time of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. His teachings are Alpha and Omega. It is the first and the last. It does not mean that he claimed divinity. 
So therefore I said, any unambiguous statement, if you literally mean you are first and last, if you read the Bible, the Bible disagrees. There were many people who came before Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. He was born in the womb of the mother and various people came after him also. So surely, sister, therefore I said, unambiguous, unequivocal statement. Hope that answers the question. Yes, brother. My name is Aryan Singh, Aryaputra Kumar Narayan Singh Konte. Yeah, that was a short clip, very, very short. I like this video. I really, really love these videos when Zaki gets to answer, especially when he responds to women. Um, Dr. Zaki Naik is quite controversial, that's what I think. But then, I like the way he formed his answer when he was responding to this woman. He wasn't quick to just throw an answer at the woman. He took time, thought about it, and actually gave an answer that's meaningful. That's something that someone can learn from. He, not, he made note of the fact that the passage may be ambiguous. That's one thing people fail to understand. Quite right you believe in the Bible, quite right you believe in the Quran. When you come across a certain verse, sometimes it's up to you as a person. To, to grow in life, you have to break down a certain message that's laid before you to get the actual meaning behind it. Just don't take, okay, fine, I said I'm this, it means I'm that. Take time to think about it. What does me being the first and the end actually mean he wasn't the first person in the world no he wasn't and he's not the last person because we're still here so what does it mean he wasn't the first prophet and he wasn't the last so what does it mean to truly grow in life you have to sit down reflect gather whatever information you have and actually break it down to get the actual message it may not just be you also, you can draw knowledge from other people that may, may have gone past this already. Seek knowledge from other people, learn from books, whatever the case is. But I should really, really recommend Dr. Zaik Naik for answering the woman. She really, really had a good question and I really love the way he answered her. Other than that, we should just sit down and think about it. With each prophet, we learn something new. From each person, sometimes, we do learn things, be it good or bad. Nothing should be, should be taken for granted and we shouldn't be extreme in whatever we believe. Let us not be extreme, let us not be so... Um, we should think, we should allow ourselves to explore and go out there and find out the truth. Without, with that being said, I like how Dr. Zaki Naik broke down what Jesus meant by saying, I'm the first and the last. During this generation or during this period, the Lord has sent me to deliver this message. I will be the first in this generation and I'll be the last. I guess that's what, that's, that's what Jesus meant. But if I'm wrong, please correct me. Let me know anything you want me to learn from this in case I'm misunderstanding the message. Otherwise, this, this was a good message. It's sad that it was a very short um, video. And I guess she got her answer because she didn't ask any questions after this. I really like everything about this video. So yeah, like I said, you guys are the realest MVP. There's no way to say thank you for the 10,000 plus subscribers that we've gotten so far thank you for supporting us from the beginning till now and i hope you continue supporting us if there's any videos like this that you would like for us to sub um, to react to let us know in the comment section below i for one like um stories i really i feel drawn most to stories than anything else that we react to also, we have a second channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. You can check out our videos there and we actually uploaded on the other channel. You guys are asking us why we are not uploading together and we explained in the video we posted about a week or something ago. 
there's a video up there and you can learn from there while we're not posting together thank you thank you and thank you there's not many thank yous that i can say that can show you how much we appreciate everything that you guys are doing for us let me know how you feel about my reaction and how you feel about this video and I'll see you in my next reaction video.